So you decided to jailbreak your iPhone or your iPad and you later decided that it just wasn't for you. Don't worry, it's an easy fix. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is how you can unjailbreak your iPhone or your iPad. Earlier this week, I made a video on the first five things you should do after you jailbreak your iPhone. I went over some tweaks and mods such as acceleration, activator, browser changer. I also explained that widgets and themes can be applied, and this is only the beginning of Cydia. But jailbreaking isn't for everyone. You may have found just after a few hours or maybe a couple days that you don't like it and you would rather go back to how things were before. I explained in the video that it's just as easy to go back as it is to jailbreak for the first time. All it takes is a little bit of time and a little bit of know-how. The first step to unjailbreak your iPhone is to open iTunes and plug in your iPhone. iTunes will then ask you whether you want to create an iTunes backup, rely on iCloud to backup, or restore in your other general settings iTunes does not allow you to back up to iCloud and iTunes, so you will have to go into your phone to disable iCloud. Now, if you feel lucky and don't want to back up to iTunes, feel free, but for redundancy purposes, I recommend backing up to both. Disabling iCloud doesn't delete your backups, it simply allows you to create a local backup and a cloud backup. The backup process will take just a couple minutes, and then you will need to click Restore iPhone. The restore process sets the iPhone back to factory settings, and it takes just a couple of minutes as well. If there are any updates, you will need to first download the update, which could take a while, and then the restore process will take place. After the process completes, your iPhone will reboot as it did the first time you have turned it on, and you will need to go through the setup process once again. You can then restore from the iCloud backup or your iTunes backup. Either one works. I chose iCloud simply for preference. Choose the backup that you want to restore, and let it do its thing. It'll take just a few more minutes. Once the restore completes, you will be greeted by the setup menu. From there, you will have to log into your iCloud account again, or you can skip this step if you prefer to log in later. Once you do, you will be greeted with your home screen and lots of icons that are downloading. Depending on your connection, this could take several minutes. But as you can see, Cydia is no longer installed and you are officially unjailbroken. If you go into settings, any mods or tweaks that you may have applied are no longer there. Keep in mind that this also works for iPods and iPads. The process is literally exactly the same. If you found this video helpful, be sure to click the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and as always, follow us on your social networks of preference. You can find us on Twitter at PocketNowTweets, Google Plus at Plus PocketNow, or Facebook at Facebook.com slash PocketNow. Thanks for watching, I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time.